We'll be pulling out the blankets, of course, this weekend with the weather as cold as it is. But parents, something for you to know. If your child has a weighted blanket, please check the brand. WRL's investigative data journalist Ali Ingersoll has some details on a recall that started with a tragedy here in North Carolina. This weighted blanket is different than the one in question. As you can see, it's sewn all around, whereas that pillow fort one, it has a zipper where the cover comes off. And according to reports, that's what happened to the young girls. They went inside of it, became trapped and suffocated and died. Despite that, though, there are some benefits to using blankets like this, like it, they can reduce anxiety. Doctors, though, say that families need to consider if those benefits are greater than the risks. The sisters from Camp Lejeune were four and six years old when they suffocated, according to reports. Target received two additional reports of children becoming entrapped. And that's where this recall for the pillow fort weighted blanket is coming from. It's very important that uh, when you do hear about a recall that you're acting on it. There are more than 200,000 of these blankets in households across the country right now. The most recent data shows that about 30 North Carolinians died from accidentally suffocating in bed, and most of them were children. Dr. Daniel Park, the medical director at the Pediatric Emergency Department at UNC, says these blankets pose a risk for two reasons. One, the zipper, and two, the weight of the product itself. So, uh, their chest walls are a lot thinner and softer and more pliable and more susceptible to weight. Um, and a lot of these blankets, you know, in proportion to their body weight um, are substantial and, and that can cause airway uh, and, and breathing problems. The doctor feels it's important for parents to understand the risks of these blankets while also discussing some benefits. Research shows they're good sensory items, which can reduce anxiety. And he says he doesn't want to fear monger, but feels families need to have all of the information before deciding to bring an item into their home. And now we're you know, unfortunately seeing tragic cases where it certainly harms. So uh, my approach uh, when I'm counseling families um, you know, at work is, you know, let's talk about the, the benefits and the risks of, of any product. We checked several of our local targets. We didn't find any of those pillow fort blankets on the shelves. Should some remain, though, once you go to check out, an alert will pop up letting you know that that product has been recalled. For WRL News, Ellie Ingersoll, Raleigh.